guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you my tea collection. I'm really excited because this is the very first video that I'm filming in my new apartment. The last video I post was my old room tour and like literally the day after that, we found our apartment and me and my boyfriend Gerald signed the lease and now we're here. Having my own space allowed me to put up shelves just for my tea. At my parents' house, I didn't have a whole lot of space for my tea, so one of the first things I wanted to do was to make an area in our home where we could just display our tea, have it out where we can see it and use it every day. I got the shelves from Target. It's actually three separate shelves and we just pushed them together. And then most of my tea is gonna be from David's Tea. All right, get comfortable, grab a big cup of tea, and get ready, because this might be a long video. So obviously I have a lot of tea. I drink it every single day, I love it. This is my first cup of the day right now, but there will be more where that came from. I have some miscellaneous little baskets. These are like mostly gonna be two ounce sample bags, so they're good for about 15 cups of hot tea. All right, then we have dark chocolate delight, mocha orange biscotti, which has coffee beans and orange. Lemon pound cake. Chocolate rocket. I bought this one for Gerald because it has raspberries in it. The first time he smelled it, um, he didn't like it, but I had him smell it again the other day and didn't tell him it was the same one, and he was like, oh, it smells good. So raspberries are his favorite, so I'm gonna try to make this for him one day. I have some chives. I have Santa's Secret, which is a black tea with peppermint blueberry jam, and English toffee. So a lot of these like heavier desserty ones, like the English toffee, which is really, really rich. I bought this to like make eggnog lattes over the holidays. Then I like forgot and didn't do it. So I just have a million like good flavors for eggnog lattes, but I can't imagine wanting that until the holidays come back around, so. Good thing tea stays good. Tea never really goes bad. It can last up to a year before it starts to lose its flavor, but it should never like go bad to where it would be dangerous to drink. I would keep an extra close eye if it has like fruit or chocolate in it, but otherwise you should be fine. This is one of my favorites right now. It's an awesome sleepy time tea. It's called Honey Lullaby. It has chamomile and rose petals, and it really like reminds me of Sleeping Beauty. So it's kind of hard to see, but it's all like flowers, and there's like cornflower petals and roses. So you get like the pink and blue, and then also it's called Honey Lullaby, which just it just reminds me of Sleeping Beauty. I've always wanted to make a video of like the princesses as tea drinks, so this one would definitely be Aurora. Vanilla Swirl, this one is a new one. This one's caffeine free too. This is Gerald's favorite sleepy time tea. It's called the Big Chill. It has valerian root in it, so it really helps to knock you out. And then we have some straight oolong teas, which are very delicious. The special thing about oolong is that they're like rolled up into a little ball. So you can steep the leaves multiple times and you'll get sort of a different flavor every time. So it looks like that. It's kind of hard to see, but it's like in little balls. So that's a fun hack to make your tea last a little bit longer. If you buy oolong, you can like steep the leaves, drink the tea, use them again for your next cup. The only thing I wouldn't do is let it sit out for more than a few hours because then it could start to grow bacteria. We had two teas for Mother's Day that were limited edition. We have Lady Marmalade and Vanilla Bergamot. They were both like super fancy. This is the David's Tea 12 Tea Sampler in Sweet Indulgences. So it just has all different flavors that are super desserty. Like one of my very favorites, Toasted Walnut, Forever Nut, a classic. Alpine Punch. So this one is a nice kit with a lot of my favorite teas in it. So if you're kind of looking to get into loose tea, this is a nice way to start. It, or it's super nice as a gift too, because it comes in like the cutest box. I have these two pitcher packs from last year. This is the old 
caramel corn flavor, which is an herbal tea, so no caffeine. And then this one is chocolate covered banana, a mate tea. I just recently bought a big iced tea pitcher, so I think I'm gonna cold steep these in my fridge because we don't have an ice machine in our apartment, so I'm gonna have to do cold steeping if I want iced tea at home. When I was putting together my tea shelves, I wanted to get like a really pretty box for my sachets, which is like a fancy word for tea bags, honestly. And I found this gorgeous like rose gold and glass box at World Market. And they even sent us a 10% off coupon when we first moved. So I went and found this and we got some kitchen supplies. It's super cool, like you pull this thing over and then it opens like that. So in here I have some kava tea bags by Yogi. Kava's a really cool ingredient. So one of the ways I've heard it described is like the calming effects of red wine without the drunk effect. I usually put two tea bags in one cup and like steep it extra strong when I make these. And it doesn't really make me sleepy, but it does make me relaxed. It's like a relaxed awareness. So it's perfect for like if you wanna chill out and do some yoga or just watch TV. It's really calming, but not really the sleepy kind of calm, for me at least. Everything will affect everybody differently. So when you get ingredients like valerian root or kava, for me it might, you know, calm me down or like valerian root might make me super sleepy, but for other people it might not do anything. So everyone's gonna have a different experience because everybody's body is different. Just like with caffeine, some people can't drink tea with caffeine at all. Some people can drink coffee, but they can't drink caffeinated tea. So it's different for everyone. It's super, super interesting. So you really just gotta find what works for you. And then I have these chocolate covered almond sachets that were a free gift from David's Tea. It came with like this really cute little mug during the holidays. It was like if you spend X amount of dollars, you get a special mug and a whole bunch of these. So I have like a million of these. I've been giving them to my friends. Blueberry Muffin was a limited edition tea from fall of last year. This one's an herbal tea and it has yogurt bits in it, so it reminds me more of like a blueberry parfait than a blueberry muffin. Apple cider was a Christmas one. This one's also herbal. And then this one I really, really like, raspberry meringue. Oh, and then I, I actually have these little tiny tins just filled with like whatever leftover teas I had. I got these out of the David's Tea Advent Calendar. When I start to run low on like a bag of tea, I'll just stick them in a little tin. They take up a little less space and look a little bit cuter too. And then in these little cups, I keep my extra sachets because they don't all fit in the box. So I have some birthday cake, which is so unique, isn't it? A birthday cake tea. It makes an awesome latte. And then I have the skinny and some extra raspberry meringue. Gerald and I went to Lake Geneva, Wisconsin last week and there was a tea shop there so I picked out some teas. This one is a cinnamon plum tea from Lake Geneva Spice Company. So this one's a black tea. I tried it and I really love it. And then this one is called French Lemon Cream. Me and Gerald tried it right when we got home from Lake Geneva and it's not super lemony, but it has a really nice like vanilla to it. All right, I'm starting to realize that I probably can't show you guys every single tea I have or else this video would be like two hours long. So I might have to skip over a couple, especially because some are duplicates. Like I'll have like a tin and a bag and sachets of all the same things. So this tin I got around Christmas, it was filled with a different tea, but I've been like refilling it ever since because I bought it for the tin and it's super cute. So right now I have a tea called Detox in there. It has lemongrass, green tea, rooibos tea, and juniper berries. So all things that are kind of known to help detox the body. And that's actually what I have in my cup right now too. This is kind of like my morning go-to tea right now. And then this one was limited edition. When it first came out, I didn't really like it that much, but then I started to like it as it was on its way out, which is what usually happens with me at least. I'll like not really care about something, but then the second they say like, oh, this tea will be gone soon, then I'll go crazy with it and love it. 
So it's called Pick Me Up. It's a mate tea. Mate is awesome because it gives you a slow, steady energy without a crash. So instead of caffeine, it's called matine, and it affects your muscular system instead of your nervous system. This tea was part of a collection that was meant for when you're not feeling well, but I think it's nice for every day. So it has turmeric, black pepper, which is great because turmeric needs black pepper in order to absorb into your system and turmeric is awesome for you. And rose and ginger, all kinds of good stuff. So this one is hydrating and also energizing. So it's kind of the perfect tea for me. And then the cousin of the mate. This is another one of my favorites. This is called Wayusa, spelled like Wayusa, but it's pronounced Wayusa. So like I said, it's the cousin of the mate, so it's really, really similar. But... So here's how it looks. It kind of smells like fall leaves, but in the best way. Like I love how it tastes. And also for me, it makes me feel like super focused and aware. The first time I tried this tea, I wasn't really expecting to feel that way or like really feel any different, but I definitely did feel focused. So it's really nice when I edit my videos or when I'm like, when I have to really like buckle down and do a project and stay focused. This one came in a really pretty ceramic jar. I mostly just bought it for the jar. The tea in it ended up being really awesome too. It's called Buku Superfruit. Buku leaves are from Africa and they're like a detox leaf. And this one is caffeine free. So every time I like eat a lot at dinner, like I overeat or I eat something I'm not supposed to have, I always drink this and it helps me feel a little bit better. It has goji berries and acai berries too, which is cool because it tastes really good and fruity and berry-like. One time I went to Sonic with my brother and afterwards I was just like, oh, I feel like crap. So I made a cup of this and felt better in no time. Like before I drank this, I could like feel the sodium like draining my body. And then this really helped hydrating, taste good, and those buku leaves for detox. Perfect combination. This one is called Mint Chip Sunday. It's just like the cutest tin. Sometimes David's Tea will come out with special tins and they'll send super limited quantities and I can literally never resist them. So this one was for the Malt Shop collection and I filled it with my favorite tea from that collection which was the Mint Chip Sunday. So this one is a green tea which is awesome because I love my green tea and it has all kinds of chocolate in it and peppermint. When I make this as an iced latte, it tastes just like a mint chip ice cream to me. And then speaking of malt shop collection, I could not resist these. Even though I already have the mint chip sundae and I have a bag of vanilla swirl, but I don't really like the strawberry shake that much, but just look at the tins. Look, look at these, they're so cute. <laughs> I could not resist them. It was kind of a dumb purchase, honestly, because I can't even refill these, honestly, because it's so themed for what the tea is, like vanilla swirl and it has, you know, looks like sprinkles. So I, I, I can't, I can't even refill them. This was another limited edition tin, but it was from like around Christmas time. And it's kind of like a Christmas sweater pattern. And I have pumpkin cheesecake in here, which makes an awesome latte. It has pumpkin and white chocolate. And here's another Roybiz tea, which is one of my favorites. It's called Alpine Punch. This is the one that if I make a video about Disney princess inspired drinks, this one would absolutely be Belle. It has rose blossoms in it and it has kind of an armoretto sort of feel to it. And it's just so fancy and it just reminds me of Belle. And then for Valentine's Day, we had this tea called Berry Romantic. I honestly have not even opened this yet because it was so limited edition that I'm like scared to drink it because once I drink it all it's gone. It's an oolong tea but it has more of like the fruit than the tea leaves. So it has a super light berries and cream flavor to it. Honestly I probably shouldn't have bought this one but I did. So now I'm just going to keep it here forever. You know, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say I shouldn't have bought it. I really liked this one. But again, like when it's so limited, it's like you don't want to drink it because then it's gone. And it's super sad when you run out of it forever. On the 
that same sort of note, I was telling one of my friends who I work with that I like was hoarding this tea so hard that I made myself forget that I had it. I was like, what is in this tin? This tin is so cute by the way. It has like a family of mice that are skiing. <laughs> I was like, what's in this tin? And I had to open it and smell it. God, it's my favorite. It's called Nutty by Nature. It's a mate tea with almonds, monk fruit, and apricot. And I love this tea so much and they discontinued it. So I went to the extreme with like, oh, don't drink it because then it'll be gone, to the point where I forgot that I had it. And I was telling my friend at work about that and he was like, you know what? I have a big tin of that at home that I'm not gonna drink, so I'll bring it to you. And he did. So now I have a whole tin of that awesome tea that I love. I'm so appreciative. I wish you guys can smell it through the camera because there's no better way to like see what a tea will taste like than to smell it plus it's just really fun to smell things so now I'm like pretty stocked up on this one so a lot of the time when things are limited edition I'll just buy like the big tin like this so that I won't run out or if it's like a tea that I love to make into a latte that's another time when these big ones are a good investment so I have a pumpkin chai I'm still like really stocked up on it because when me and Gerald moved in together, he had a tin of pumpkin chai, so we just dumped it all into one. So, so when you make lattes, you add a lot more tea, like you use four times the amount of tea that you would use for just a hot cup of tea. Since so you use so much more, it makes sense to buy a larger quantity. This one I got for Gerald for his birthday, raspberry cream pie. This one makes a really good iced latte, or hot latte, but I've been loving it iced lately. It has raspberry, flower petals, rooibos tea, and white chocolate. Very desserty. Gerald loves raspberry, so this one is one of his favorites. He also likes to drink caffeine-free teas because it won't keep him up and he can drink it at night. This was one of the first ones that I bought. It was a fall tea, so it came out like August or September of last year. It's called Carrot Cupcake. It has carrot, ginger, cinnamon, licorice root, which I thought I wouldn't like. Licorice root, like people think, tastes like black licorice, but it actually just adds like a really nice sweetness. I actually love tea with licorice root. But this one is probably my all-time favorite latte to make. So delicious. And then turmeric glow. This is the most recent one I bought. It has turmeric and pineapple. My only real issue with this tea is that it doesn't have black pepper in it and I was kind of doing some research on turmeric. For turmeric to absorb into your bloodstream, it needs black pepper. It's kind of confusing, so if you know anything about it, leave, leave, leave me some information in the comments below. But whenever I drink this tea, I just like, grind up some black pepper right into the tea bag with it. This is one of my favorite tins. It's like a kaleidoscope pattern, it's so pretty. And inside I just have glitter and gold, which is like a super light chai, but it has star-shaped sprinkles. And then cardamom French toast makes an awesome latte too. This one has cardamom pods, lemon peel, cinnamon, coriander, it's so desserty. I was thinking like it would be so cool to, to infuse this into some almond milk and then make French toast with it. Like to to make cardamom French toast tea infused French toast. And some people thought that was like a really cool idea, but some people like thought I'm crazy. <laughs> the only thing I've made with tea so far is like chia pudding. So I do want to get more into like cooking and baking with tea because I have a lot of ideas. Now we're getting into matcha territory. Matcha is totally different. So what matcha is, is it's a stone ground green tea. In the future, I definitely wanna make a video about like what the benefits of matcha are and like what it is and how you make it. But for now, I'll just give you like the overview. So my favorite, this is the one I drink every day, ceremonial matcha. This is the highest grade of matcha that David's tea has. Actually, no, it was, but now we have an organic version. 
So it's, it's expensive to buy matcha, but it's really, really a good habit to get into. When you drink matcha, you're getting all of the benefits of the tea leaf. So like 10 times the antioxidants, you're getting much more caffeine, but it is made differently than other tea. You can see, it's like it's powdered and it's super green. Not everybody loves the taste of matcha. It's kind of an acquired taste to start just drinking it straight. And by straight, I mean with no sweetener or milk or anything like that, but it's, it's worth it. Like I started in November drinking matcha every day. And at first I was like, like, you know, gross. But as time has gone on, like now I can't live without it. I have to have my matcha. I love it. It's really easy to get past the grassy taste too because you can just make like a concentrated shot of matcha and do it that way. And then I acquired these flavored matchas from friends at work. So maple matcha, this one is maple flavored and this is another one that I have like baking plans for. I really want to try making this like matcha pancakes or waffles because the maple flavor will just be perfect. I don't have too much of this one but that's my plan so I don't need a whole lot. And then this one's really unique, kale matcha. So this one has powdered kale and then the green tea powder. So it looks pretty much the same as a regular matcha would look, but it kind of tastes like kale chips. So you can get all the benefits of matcha and all the nutrients of kale in one go and that is appealing to me. And then also I have this Alice in Wonderland tea that I bought in Disney World in September that I haven't even opened yet. So I know it's a black tea. Sounds like, ooh, you know what? I think I'm gonna really like this one. The ingredients are, you know, premium blend of Indian black teas, safflowers, calendula petals, ginger bits, which I like, apricot bits, which also I really like, and then peach and apricot flavors. So maybe I should crack into this soon. So here are two more. This one is Forever Nuts. This is David's Tea's best-selling tea company-wide. It's like a cinnamon roll in a cup. It's almonds, apple, cinnamon, and beetroot. Not only is it delicious, but the beetroot makes it so when you steep it, it turns pink. So it's adorable too. So you can make like a really cute pink latte out of it. And it tastes like cinnamon rolls. And then here's another nice sleepy time tea. This is David's Teas, only one with lavender right now. I would really like to see more lavender teas from them, but that's how it looks. I'm almost out of it because I drink it so often, but lavender, strawberries, and blueberries. All right, that concludes my tea collection, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about tea, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer them. If you have any suggestions or any kind of videos that you'd like to see, definitely let me know. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful day.